Hello and uh, welcome back to another video from our trainingright.com. In this video, we will be discussing about um, the uh, test suites and um, how to create the test cases. Uh, so far, we have uh, looked at uh, the Microsoft uh, Test Manager and in the Max, um, Microsoft Test Manager, when you log in, um, basically we have discussed about um, how to create a test plan. And uh, while we created this uh, test plan, we went into the properties, we looked into so many different things in here uh, as a part of that previous video. So in this video, now that um, we already have this test plan, I'll be showing you as how to create um, uh, test suites and test cases. Well, as you all know, um, depending on the website that we will be testing, there will be uh, many test cases. Test cases are nothing but the functionality that uh, we are going to be uh, testing. And uh, in order to create those test cases, uh, in uh, uh, MTM, uh, we have uh, the ability that uh, we can put the test cases uh, into uh, test suites because uh, test cases, a collection of test cases uh, together, there can be... Um, sort of like uh, you know organized uh, in such a way that, that they can be placed into what is called a test suite now if you don't place uh, the test cases into a test suite uh, then by default all those test cases that we'll be creating will become a part of a test plan uh, for better organization purpose uh, it's always uh, uh, you know uh, preferred that you go and create some uh, test suites so let's start off with creating the test suite so we are here in the plan and uh, we click on the contents and uh, right here we are looking at the test plan that we have uh, configured um, in the previous video so now we'll be highlighting that and then we'll be going in and then we'll be creating a test suite now when you create a test suite, uh, there are uh, sort of like, uh, you know, multiple ways of creating a test suite. Uh, there is something uh, like a static test suite, uh, and then there is a requirements uh, based test suites, as you can see here, requirement based test suite. And uh, then there is a query based, uh, you know, test suite that you could create. So let's uh, start off with the um, easiest of all, which is the a static way of uh, creating a test suite. In this uh, static way of creating a test suite, basically the idea here is uh, we will be having uh, the name of the test suite and then inside the test suite we'll be creating multiple test cases uh, and those test cases uh, manually would be uh, sort of like updated by um, uh, the uh, tester or uh, the lead who is assigned uh, to this test plan to this test plan so uh, let's get uh, started with the creation of the test suite so once you click on that it's going to come in here and ask you okay what sort of uh, uh, name do you want to give it to a test suite um, if you intend to do uh, the end-to-end -end testing um, of your application then you could um, um, you know sort of name it like that um, so either you could do that or you could uh, be uh, as a part of this test plan you could be just doing uh, the GUI uh, testing we are not uh, really doing any functional uh, business logic layer testing we are just um, or, or a database testing we're just looking into the GUIs uh, meaning if the screens are available if you click on a certain menus if the screens are showing up or not um, so um, I can uh, say this as uh, um, let's say uh, how can we put it let's say GUI uh, uh, testing okay so uh, GUI testing and this is the test suite so GUI te testing okay inside this GUI testing as a test suite I could go ahead and then I could create um, you know uh, my test cases in order to create my test cases I could go here and here I could click on uh, new to create a if you see that um, 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 uh, tooltip it tells you that uh, we by clicking on it we are creating a test case and adding it to this particular test suite so let's start off that that's the most basic way of doing it uh, so I'm just gonna click on uh, new and then come over here so what you see here is a, a sort of a, like a form um, which uh, MTM um, Microsoft test manager gives it to you and by filling out uh, this form uh, it will be storing this information into the TFS so uh, TFS